So I'm doing this video today to show one of my friends who started using Movie Pro how to offload his videos. Uh, Movie Pro does give options straight from your phone to upload to YouTube or Vimeo or whatever or to email versions of your video, but you don't want to do that typically because what you're doing then is when you send it out to YouTube, YouTube's going to compress the video typically at about an 11 to 1 ratio. So what I've got, I've got at my iPhone here where I've had my Movie Pro, and you can see I've got a lot of other stuff on there, but here is the Movie Pro. So you see I've gone over here to Tony Glenn's iPhone. I've connected the iPhone up to my Mac. Now I'm not sure if my friend is using a PC or a Mac, but I think if he connects his iPhone up, he'd still be able to see what's on there. You just go connect it up. I believe on the PC it works the same way. It just might look different. But here you'll go. Here is my Movie Pro files and here are some files I shot these two today to use for this example these are some others I don't even know what I did back on March 6th and March 11th but I have some video so you don't want to use you don't want to use YouTube as your storage <laughs> that would be a compressed file when it goes up even though you might have shot it at 1080p or 2.7k or whatever I think I shot these two here at 2.7k so they're very high res files we shoot 4k what, you, what you're looking for, you're wanting to preserve your bit depth, your bit rate. And that's what gives you the ability later on to you know, get stuff, pull stuff out of the shadows or make really fine color adjustments. If you uh, use compressed video like something up to YouTube, then, it, then you don't have that option so much anymore. It makes it a whole lot grainier looking when you come out the backside. So what I've got, I have a uh, Extreme 500. Uh, this is what I use. I've got an Extreme one terabyte. These are SanDisk solid state drives, external solid state drives, which are not real expensive. And I love to edit on these. You see, these are all solid state drives, SSDs. Here's a, you don't have to worry about this. This is These are just some uh, regular old traditional hard drives. But all these little Extreme ones here, SanDisk Extreme, look that up. And these are the best ways to archive this really high resolution video and it makes it a lot easier to edit too because it's really uh, the, the data rate transfers when you're doing your editing are just fantastic. But this is a folder I've created called videos downloaded from iMovie. I said iMovie. I meant for that to say Movie Pro. I'm just crazy and meant that should be Movie Pro. But anyway I'm gonna go ahead and just drag all these. These are these are the high res files that you want to keep. I'm gonna hold my shift key down and select all those and I'm gonna pull these over. It's not going to take too long for them to save. So what you want to do, if you want to upload straight to YouTube from iMovie, excuse me, from Movie Pro, <laughs> it does a great job and it looks good, but just know that you are, when you upload it, YouTube is going to work its magic through a, a piece of software called a codec. That stands for code decode. So a codec is going to use its codec to encode these movies and compress them down really big, like that 9.8 meg file. By the time you send it to YouTube, it'll be less than one meg. This 48 meg file here will be something like probably 3.7 or 3.8 megs. Like I say, you roughly, usually an 11 to 1 ratio. And so even though it looks good on YouTube, if you were to have to go back and pull that back down and do some editing to it, brighten it up or try to lighten up the shadows and stuff, it would look a whole lot worse. You want to keep your highest quality video and just archive this somewhere. And I do recommend either get a traditional uh, hard drive, uh, or external hard drive, or I would highly recommend getting a solid state drive like the SanDisk Extreme. You can get them on Amazon. They're not that expensive. A 500 gig one, I think, is, I don't know, 89 bucks or something like that. It's been a while since I've checked. But, so here's my piece of video that I've done. Boy, it's a lot, it's actually a lot larger than that. <laughs> I'm going to feed it into the window here, and this is just a clip that I've done. Here's just, just a quick, quick video, video clip. clip. I, I think, think this is about 2.7K video. So this video, as we stop it here and pause it, if you're watching this on YouTube now, and you probably are, you're looking at a compressed version of it. The version I'm seeing is absolutely pristine. You can see almost every little pebble and speck here. Here's another one I did uh, with some leaves. Again, it's way bigger than, uh, I think I shot these 2.7K, and I'm reducing the size here for this, for this tutorial. And here is another quick Movie Pro clip, just shooting some leaves in. Those of you who've watched my channel much know that I'm very high on Movie Pro as an app. Uh, your typical videos that you shoot with your with your iPhone are much smaller a bit rate. So in other words, say this 2.7K video that I've shot, 
it might uh, your iPhone might record it at 35 megs per second, but you can tell the iPhone to record through Movie Pro, you can tell it to do 400%, it will go up to 120 megs per second. And what that means, you can't tell so much from here, but if I were to open this up in Adobe Premiere Pro, or in um, After Effects, or in Final Cut, or in DaVinci Resolve, any of the professional video editing programs, there's a whole lot more color adjustment I can do if I keep it in the highest res, or the highest bit rate, we'll say the highest bit rate format. So this right now currently is probably about 115 or 120 megs per second, as opposed to just shooting it at maybe 30, 35 megs per second with your iPhone in typical recording mode. So I, or uh, Movie Pro is a very excellent program to buy. And uh, this is how you offload it, and this is why you want to keep it in the uh, best native format that you can. Uh, at least until you get through the editing process and when you upload your final edited pieces to YouTube, it will again compress it, but at least you're compressing the best quality versions that you have. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.